men, who have become women, are repackaged and shamed into believing this horse shit as part and parcel of feminized gender role reversal. Thus we get speed dating and a harmony and a host of other, conveniences, to pacify the insecurities that this reversal instills. I'm going to suggest that most afts, most feminized, conditioned males, like and embrace the lonely old man myth because it is a buffer against potential rejection. Does that sound like a stretch? It shouldn't. When used from a feminized perspective this myth is most certainly a shaming social convention with a latent function of getting men to commit to a feminine frame. You better change yourself soon, or your soulmate might pass you by and be lonely and destitute in your old age. That's the feminized use of the myth. However, the internalized AFC use of the myth is a buffer. This then becomes his rationale for settling for a substandard LT or, or marriage. Better to marry a shrew than suffer loneliness. It's really a triple whammy. There is the feminine reinforced fear of solitude. Then, the self-reinforced expectation of maturity or doing the right thing. And finally the use of it as a convenient retreat from rejection or potential rejection. And this is what I'm getting at when I refer to it as a buffer. 